Hi, I'm Jackson Crawford. I'm an Old Norse specialist here on the unusual occasion of some breaking news in Old Norse in February 2021. Some, I'll read this carefully, photodendrometric research by Teria Thun, Helena Lufstrand, Svarba, and colleagues at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology at Trondheim has shown that tree ring patterns in Norwegian staved churches are uh, good evidence that those same staved churches are much older than previously believed. Now for the most part these churches have been believed to have been built in uh, the period around the late 1200s early 1300s but specifically the Urnes stave church it turns out was built from logs cut down in 1069 to 70. Now for context Saint Olav or King Oliver Haraldsson, who completed the Christianization of Norway, only died in 1030. So that means that the people building this church were uh, quite likely the grandchildren or even children of pagans. Now, this is interesting because it adds some credence to the still unprovable hypothesis that these churches look so weird because their Norwegian builders imitated the style of pagan temples probably because they're either unfamiliar with the style of Christian churches in Christian countries to the south, or because of the unavailability of resources or skills to make churches in the way they were built in the rest of Europe. Now, I think, um, you know, it's a cool hypothesis that the stave churches represent the design of something like an older pagan temple. Uh, of course, those pagan temples uh, no longer exist. Probably a lot of them were located in the same places as Christian churches, and many of them, no doubt, deliberately destroyed. Uh, whether or not these churches are uh, reflective of some kind of pagan building style or, or influenced by some kind of pagan temple building style, uh, th they're still really cool, valuable parts of early Scandinavian history and, and hopefully will be preserved for many generations to come. Now, if you want to go and see one of these stave churches, the easiest one to see is the Ghoul Stave Church, which was disassembled and re-erected at the Norsk Folkemuseum, which is not far from Oslo. And then... Uh, if you want to see Urnes, the really famous one that uh, has been confirmed to be from uh, the 10 hundreds, uh, Urnes is in Sogen, and uh, the one that I uh, appear in some photographs in this video from is uh, the Torpo Stave Church, which is in Hallingdal, home of my own local chapter of uh, Norse Molag, hence I've <laughs> that's the one that I visited uh, the most in, in, in situ. Well, Hopefully more research will bring even more light onto the origin of the stave churches and uh, the reason for their really unique and cool look. And uh, happy to be able to bring you some semi-breaking news. From beautiful Colorado, let me wish you all the best.